You must understand how to properly and safely dispose of used antifreeze if you are doing a coolant flush or auto repair. Otherwise, you endanger the environment, your loved ones, and your pets. In this video, we will cover the ways to dispose of antifreeze. We also discuss the dangers that this substance provides. How to dispose of antifreeze. Check antifreeze condition. You should check the condition and determine which type of antifreeze you use before doing anything with it. You should be aware of whether the antifreeze is diluted or undiluted, as well as whether it has been used or not. Because used coolant may contain heavy metals, fresh antifreeze can be handled differently. The organization might need to know what quality it is in, even though you will most likely take both to the same disposal site. Flush coolant. If you are replacing your car's coolant, you must first remove the old antifreeze. If you wish to get rid of it, you must collect it properly. To protect your skin, put on some gloves. After removing the drain plug, carefully place your drain pan underneath. Make sure there is enough room in the drain pan to catch all of the liquid without any spills. Additionally, before moving the drain pan, let the coolant run completely out. Transfer to safe container. You must move the coolant to the proper container after it has been drained into the pan. It could leak or spill if not put in the right container, which would be dangerous. Make use of containers designed to store these hazardous liquids. When you refilled the system, you can also use the original antifreeze containers that you emptied. Place the antifreeze in a secure area until you can drop off the liquid. Dispose at an appropriate location. Locate a recycling facility, auto parts store or service station that accepts antifreeze in your area. To find someone who can assist, you can look up these places online or give them a call locally. Do not forget to inform them of the type of antifreeze you are using, including whether it is diluted or undiluted, and whether it is used or unused. Additionally, you should confirm the establishment's opening hours and days. Transporting the hazardous material only to discover that they are closed is the last thing you want to do. All of your containers are turned in when you get to the recycling center. You should expect to pay a small recycling fee, though some locations provide this service for free. Avoid dangerous practices. Although it may seem tempting, you should never pour antifreeze down the sink drain. Additionally, you don't want to spill it on the dirt or grass outside. The chemical antifreeze is poisonous. Animals and humans who come into contact with it suffer harm. Another reason to refrain from the practice is that it harms the environment. For the sake of everyone's health, take a few minutes to dispose of it properly. What's toxic about antifreeze? Antifreeze contains glycol, which makes it toxic. Both people and pets can be harmed by this chemical. There are two varieties, though, and their levels of toxicity differ. You're interested in learning more about these two. Antifreeze made of ethylene glycol. Of the two, this is the more poisonous. It's not as common as it used to be. This chemical can harm the brain, liver, lungs, and kidneys when consumed. In the end, it causes organ failure and death, particularly if treatment is not received. Ethylene glycol can cause birth defects during pregnancy and damages the reproductive system. The worst thing about this antifreeze is that it tastes and smells sweet, which makes it even more alluring to people who should avoid it. Antifreeze made of propylene glycol. Nowadays, this kind of antifreeze is the most widely used and is a component of most store-bought goods. Compared to its predecessor, propylene glycol is thought to be less toxic. However, because it can cause harm, you should still use it carefully. It could result in irreversible damage if consumed in large amounts. So, where can antifreeze be disposed of? You can dispose of antifreeze at your neighborhood auto parts store, a service center, or a recycling facility. If there isn't a recycling facility close by, it might be worth a try because many auto parts stores can actually assist you in getting rid of it.